Hello, uh, I have spent the last weekend trying to figure out how to put a Windows ISO onto a USB drive to install on a PC. So I'm doing this via Mac because doing anything via PC is difficult enough. So this takes uh, a bit of working out, but now I've got a video here that should hopefully make everything uh, much easier. So what I did first was click Erase, I go to Disk Utility, sorry. Uh, pick the drive, so it's the, the main drive here, so click on Erase, then we we'll call it Untitled, go to XFAT in Master Boot Record, click on the word Erase, it will do its, why is it failing? Let's try that again. There you go, it works that time, who knows why. Uh, and then click on the untitled drive, click Erase, call it Windows 10. It's important that you call it Windows 10 so you can use the bit of um, a command prompt that I've, I've written there. Uh, XFAT, uh, click Erase. There we go. Uh, so it's now called Windows 10. Now, so the drive's in there. What you have to do is find uh, the Windows 10 ISO. So I'll, let me just go into here. Uh, I think it was on my desktop now. Uh, yep. So what we'll do is double click on the the ISO. Now what it does, it mounts the drive. Uh, just click across there. Uh, so it mounts the drive. So if you go to terminal, just copy and paste this code first. Go to terminal. There we go. And basically just copy and paste that bit of code in there. Click on enter. And then what it does, it transfers uh, so when you go to this drive here, it basically has everything in here. It's just like going like that and clicking over. But in this case, we're letting terminal do it because sometimes it fails uh, doing it the you know the manual way. Uh, so you're better to do it via terminal. And what to happen here? So see how the little cursor here is greyed out. Once everything has been transferred over, uh, it will be like a, a clear cursor, uh, and just basically eject the drive, stick it into your Windows machine, and continuously press F8 when you're booting up and then basically boot from the drive and that'll let you give a, um, a clean install uh, onto your onto your PC. So hopefully this has saved people a lot of time. Um, if it does, uh, hit subscribe or leave a comment if you find a different way to do it. But I think this is the most efficient way to do it, even though it failed the first time formatting the drive. Okay, right, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, bye.